History teaches us that democracies don't disappear overnight. They disappear slowly, subtly, silently. A book ban, a court decision, a don't say gay law. Before World War II, I'm told, Berlin was the center of LGBTQ culture in Europe. One group of people loses their rights, and then another, and then another. Until one morning you wake up and you no longer live in a democracy. In analyzing Jill Biden's discourse, it is perceived as a distortion of reality, aiming to instill fear and establish unwarranted parallels between disparate occurrences. There's contention that Jill Biden's juxtaposition of pornography prohibition with Nazi actions is an exaggerated interpretation, trivializing the grave nature of Nazi atrocities. Her rhetoric hints at a broader trend of political polarization and fear propagation, where an individuals resort to extreme language to vilify adversaries and advance personal agendas. These remarks seem aimed at stifling dialogue and eroding democratic values by framing Jill Biden's words as an existential peril to democracy itself. They are construed as emblematic of ideological radicalism and the exploitation of sensitive historical episodes for partisan gains.